We got really lucky in that last one. We barely took over Kyoto. I had like a warrior that was in like, I don't know, less than 50% health. The city was at like plus 20 health out of 200. Um, luckily we squeezed it out just barely. But now we need to take out Japan and I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this. I just really don't know the exact values of, I guess, the diplomatic penalty we would receive from everybody else. If you notice, most people are pretty unfriendly right now. I might want to go to all of them and just start sending them over some money. Saying, hey, you want an apple pie? By the, by the way, I just killed thousands of Japanese, but do you want an apple pie? Because, you know, that fixes everything, right? Let's send it over. Okay, well, Spain. Spain is annoying. Also, can I mention this? I find Spain really annoying. Like, not Spain as, as a sieve. I like their bonuses and things like that. I'm just talking about Philip II is really annoying. I, I don't know why. I feel like he denounces me all the time, and I'm just like, ugh. Spain, go away. Okay, let me, let me try a little bit more. I'm surprised I didn't... So that's right, Scythia wasn't accepting my apple pie from the very beginning. Uh, good offer, but I cannot accept. Come on, Rome. It's close. It's close. Why can't I give it to you? Are we cool with you? We're not cool with you. And I already know that you're not going to accept it. Alright, well, we tried. <laughs> we definitely tried, but it didn't really work out there. So Tokyo's our new city. Um, I like it. It's just, just the crap got pillaged out of it, so that's the only problem. Anyways, uh, let's start to... I, I still don't exactly know what this is. Um, luckily, a lot of our units got promotions. A lot of them. So, we, uh, we're going to be able to get a lot of our health back. And we won't have to sit here healing for that long. Combat strength versus fortified defenders. Combat strength when defending versus ranged attacks. I like that. Let's go with that. So, bam, there's 50% of my health. You also get a, uh, a promotion. 5 plus range strength versus land units. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Because you're going to be mainly attacking, so you're not going to be defending inside of districts or anything. Ah, oh, man. I can already tell the world's the world's already unhappy with me by taking a capital. I should probably just take them out. But that could be the final straw for them. They might not ever forgive me at that point. Uh, your promotion can wait, dude. Your promotion can wait. I'm going to go on top of the oracle. Just kind of see what's going on. Looks like nothing. You're going to have to heal. Yep. Let's uh, let's scale the cliff walls. I like that idea. I'm going to chain you to that warrior. And then you definitely need to heal. Coming straight versus fortified. Defending. Yep. Because we're going to be attacking Tokyo now. Which Tokyo is luckily in like only five citizens. Uh, has only five citizens. I'm sure, you know, it probably doesn't have the same defenses as Kyoto did. It doesn't even look like it has a wall right now. Oh, it does. If we... No, it doesn't. Not yet. They might be building it. Palace, and then... They have a great work. Splinter of the True Cl uh, Cross. Alright, well, that's that's fine. Who needs food? Oh, yeah, that's right. You do need food. And, uh... Kyoto needs housing. Yeah, Kyoto is going to suck for a while. And uh, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Um, can you get out of the way or no? You can't. Alright, well, then I'll move on across to the bananas. This new uh, heavy chariot is going to have to lead the charge. The Ooh, England. Okay, I've not played with her in one of my games yet, so that's kind of cool. She's got to be, like, on the other side of the earth, though. The other side of the earth. Without mathematics. There's mathematics for us. Where where did we meet you at? Oh, I must have met you with the other... Did we meet you over here? I don't even know. Never mind. All right, well, let's scale this mountain range. This is a huge mountain range. On this Pangea map. Like just separating us from some of the other civs. It's kind of crazy. Ooh. The barbarians stole you away. Barbarians. Alright. So I can't take this guy. Just goes back into his capital. That kind of sucks. Let's have. Let's sit here and heal. You've got to get across the river anyways. You've got to do the same. I got to get my range units. In a good area to strike. See. I, that's what I think. So I we, we knew that Japan had almost as big of an army as I did, but clearly uh, there's, there's a barbarian encampment nearby. So I bet you most of their military was dealing with that, and uh, and that's not good because we were able to kind of, yeah, take that, use that to our advantage. All right, so everyone's just going to sit here and heal for now. Um, also, listen to this. Do you hear that music? I love this. It's Salisbury Hill by Simon and Garfunkel, right? Boom. When I first heard this, I was like, oh my god. I feel like it only comes out at night. That's just kind of nerd, music nerd coming out of me. 
pikemen are a lot more powerful than uh than warriors but i still prefer the warrior the warrior is the traditional melee unit so you're gonna get the you know the swordsman and then the musket man and then the rifleman and then the infantry i mean that's a basic you know very good melee unit and the pikeman goes down a different route it's an anti-cavalry unit so it does a little bit more different things different things so i'm guessing like anti-tank is eventually where it would go to um I don't know if that's the exact name, but I do know that that's kind of what it's called. Let's go machinery. We'll also be able to throw down a lumber mill, which will be really helpful. I'm not missing out on anything too amazing yet, right? Not yet, but yeah, no, I actually don't even need to touch that for a really long time. So that's kind of perfect. While others are, like Spain and probably England, Hoover's Coastal, they might be wasting their time with that. I, I, I know that I eventually need to go down that path, though. I do realize that. Okay, so I can repair the campus. That's going to take... Whoa! Well, I have to repair it, that's right, because I pillaged the campus, not the buildings inside of the campus. So that kind of sucks. But let's get up at more culture. I'm not feeling the amount of... Oh my gosh, the amenities are terrible too. You can't build an entertainment district because you don't have any more population. I could just focus on a builder and fix everything. I think let's fix the campus, because that's kind of really important. We'll build a builder someplace else. And actually, if I look into St. Louis... Are you working, like, good production tiles? Not really. Like, you can... Everything else is locked down, right? Okay, so let's move here and try to shave a few turns off. Okay. I think that's a good idea. What is this? Oh, that's just telling us we met somebody. Okay, good. Wow, okay, this guy... Germany's willing to give me ivory and 14 gold and 6 gold for 30 turns. That is an amazing deal. Okay. He, either he likes me, or he's threatened by me, or he really needs my amenities. I don't know. But that just gave us another amenity. So we're probably not negative two in the hole anymore. Plus six defense strength, plus five city range strength. Production towards building defensive buildings. Um, I think I want to keep what I got going on here. Five plus unit combat strength when uh, fighting barbarians. Actually, we don't really need that anymore. I mean, I'm, you know, a lot of other people, a lot of other Civ, uh, Civ YouTubers and streamers out there <coughs> are talking about how they're, they're struggling with barbarians. I have not been able, I've not been struggling with barbarians only because America has such an awesome, unique, bon unique bonus. Because, because when you combine it with discipline and the fact that I get naturally on my home continent five plus, you know, combat strength, that's like, I, I just don't deal with barbarians. Now, when I start playing as other Civs, I, I'm sure I'm going to, uh, to feel the heat definitely feel the heat all right so i'm gonna keep it like what we got going on here yield from pillaging would have been nice i should have picked that up but i actually didn't anticipate that i was going to be pillaging kyoto as much as i had great library sounds good we can try to rush the great library so do i help you here or i might just sit here and wait i might just kind of promote my unit um, we're going to need to take that guy down because he's going to be annoying. I actually have nobody else that can range attack. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to have them sit here and then we'll see what that barbarian, you know, what that barbarian horseman does. So you'll stay inside the city as well. Same goes for you. You're just going to sleep pretty much. All right, we'll see what happens. Although, I'm going to eat those words if the, the horseman, like, attacks my... He could, he could even... Wow, look at this mountain range. Look how amazing that looks. It's so cool with the sun rising and everything. Okay, so... Um, oh, okay, Rome likes us because of our scientific research. Wow, that's some interesting animation from, from England. She's really mad at us. She's really... You need to slow your roll down there, girl, because... Dang, like, I'm not even doing nothing. Well, I'm killing a whole bunch of innocent people besides that part that I did, you know, declared an offensive war. But it's, it's, you know, what, it's 40 AD. What, what else were they doing in 40 AD? This is just what's, what happens. Oh, spices look pretty cool too. Okay, so here are the Japanese army. This is, I anticipated this. So the horsemen can't reach us. What I'm going to want to do is probably here. Let's see if we can't. Take out the slingers with this strike. Japan's going to have an interesting decision to make. 
I'd rather attack him because this horseman is in Japan's zone of control. They can't attack us. So I'm going to hit this person and then we'll see if they back away. Now, if they back away, then the then the horseman can come after us. But, um, yeah, I'm going to scoot you up inside of the forest. And I might even scoot. I can start scooting up. I'm going to start scooting up. And I don't think I'm going to scoot anybody else. No more scooty. Let's stay with that. This mountain range is way too large right now. This is crazy. Okay, and we have to stay there. You're going to stay there. I want to see what Japan does. I really want to see what the AI decides to do here. So, what was that? The horseman left. You did, you, you're did. you starting to work on a, a district, I think. It, is it an encampment? I don't know if it's an encampment. Or if I'm missing something. Oh, they can't attack because they, they just built the walls. They must have bought those walls. Okay, well, I'm going to sit here for a little bit with this scout. I'm probably going to forget about him, but yeah, whatever. So I, I'm going to have to take down the horseman either way. I can't go after this builder that I would really like. We need to go... Jeez. You know what I'd rather do? Is I'd rather just attack here. I'm going to unchain you, get my battering ram, put him next to the city, start attacking the city itself. Um, if I put you here, I think you should be able to attack. If I'm correct about this, you should be able to attack. Wow, we took out so much of that. There we go. I don't know what's behind this fog of war. There could be even more Japanese units, so I'm not going to move my battering ram any closer. I, I, I was considering it, though. If I could get this, this guy to pillage a tile, that would be great, but... I don't think I, I should... You need to fight your way through this. You need to... Yeah. Does he get a bonus? We get a flanking bonus. He's got damage. Yeah, he, he's still anti-cavalry. And uh, and we are a heavy cavalry unit, so he's going to get a little bit of a bonus. But, you know, we got we to gotta fight through this. And I'm going to have to sit you back and heal. You probably just heal right there. Don't even take a turn out. Um, I can take you. Perfect. And now I can... Hmm. I don't know who's going to be more annoying. I'm going to attack the Barbarian. So this is going to be interesting because in Civ 5, I was I got to the point where I, I can almost guarantee you know what the AI was going to attack in terms of what the city bombardment was going to attack and things like that. The AI has so many different choices here now. So many different choices. They could attack us. They could attack you know the many multiple units, my range units, my melee units. They could attack the Barbarian Horsemen. It's going to be interesting to see what they choose. Uh, also, over the break, I realized that two city-states wanted me to connect the trade route to any city-state. So I'm going to fulfill those quests and go to Afghanistan. We're going to get three gold back from this, so that sounds like a good like a good plan. It's going to take ten turns, but that's all right. Also, two city-states want us to generate a great scientist, and I'm on my way to doing that. So that's kind of cool, too. Trading post created. Okay, so he decided to attack my archer. Honestly, that was the best thing for us. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me, Japan? That is so funny because not even that long ago, I was just, I, like literally five minutes ago, I was talking about how the barbarians weren't that big of a deal. But I do need to keep in mind, this is the first conflict I've gotten into outside of my home continent. So we are not receiving the same bonuses as we were before. Yes, see? So, it is going to be harder. I don't know. I'm not even sure here. And there's a stupid archer here. How much damage can we do? If we take out the walls, that would be pretty significant. But I also think that I need to do something about the, bar about the barbarians. This is a huge mess that we've gotten ourselves into. <laughs> this is a huge mess. This is what I think. I think I'm going to exit the formation, take the archer back, because we have to. I, I don't want to I don't lose any units. We'll scoot you over here to protect the battering ram. I do not want to lose... I do not want to lose any more units. 
I think I need to take this guy. I'm going to move the builder back home. And then for this cavalry unit. Hey, there we go. I'll put you on the front lines. Wow. Three barbarian horsemen. Yeah, so we just saw Japan get absolutely ravaged by barbarians. And that is why the Japanese army wasn't there. And that was good for the most part. But I'm thinking, I don't know. I really don't want to peace out. But maybe I need to. Wait, 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 wait. Who got an upgrade? Oh, okay, I don't, I don't know. I must not be able to do it anymore. You're gonna sit there, sit there and heal. You'll connect to the, to the scout. The scout has. Where's my scout out? Scout at. Can see through jungles. I like that. Let's give you the bonuses. Looks like that's Spain over there. This guy might die if the city attacks it. Ha! No. So I don't think I've gone over this, but now. Just because I have control over Kyoto, it's still technically Japan's city. We have to peace out for that city. Again, I'm starting to see small influences from Paradox Games, and I freaking love it. Because I've been making, um, like, videos how to improve before, like, like years ago, I was making these, like, how to improve Civilization VI when it comes out. And that was something that everybody always said. It was something that was a big deal in my, in my games, was, uh, Include more paradox influences, and this seems like a very big paradox. You know, not only Castus Belli's, but you know, not actually having control over the city. So I'm definitely not going to accept this because I'm not going to give you back Kyoto. No way, Kyoto is mine. I want to take you out completely, Japan. And I actually don't even know the consequences of that, but we'll see. And uh, there's Greece. Okay, so we've met all. Let's see, all seven, because there's eight in a standard game. The the, uh, the barbarians kind of backed away, which is great. I'm going to kill this warrior because I kind of have to. And you've got to sit there and heal, unfortunately. Now, if I can, I'm going to try to fix some of these tiles that we've pillaged before. Before I do any... Because yeah, there's actually the citrus is pillaged, too. So we want to fix that, get up, a, get up a, a nice amenity. Another nice thing would be... And I don't know if I want to do this because if I can get my... Cavalry unit over here. This would be even better. They're working on... Oh, this guy's totally dead if I do this, though. We're going to have to unchain you. We're going to lose units, and I'm sorry. It's going to be kind of inefficient. Oh, okay. It's not terrible. As long as they stay over there. And we can attack the city right now with a, almost a, pretty much a fresh, a fresh chariot. So what I'm going to, I'd much rather just continue to attack with my heavy chariots. I'll use this warrior as hopefully a distraction for the barbarians. I'm going to assume that he might back away. Yeah, I'm going to attack the city. Again, like I said, I'm, this might be inefficient. I hate losing units because I know how efficient you should be with units in advanced difficulties in Civ 5. But I don't think I have a choice here. Oh, I can still attack the city. I'm going to attack the city. Ooh, well, this is a this is a horse archer. I'm going to sit there and heal. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to have to stop right there. We're going to see if we can take out Japan. There's no guarantees whatsoever. But hopefully I can. We'll see. Oh, Rome likes us now. That's kind of nice. This is really interesting. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this in Civ Five, where pretty much a Civ got absolutely ravaged by barbarians, and the barbarians and myself are kind of both competing for... This city. Now, I don't think barbarians can take over a city in Civ 6. That would be pretty crazy if they could. Um, but they're they're becoming a huge nuisance for me and for Japan themselves. They really saved me because I'm sure the barbarians are a lot... They have a lot to do with the reason why I took Kyoto so easily. Because if Japan had like one or two more units, they would have stopped my whole siege over their capital. I, I'm just... This is kind of crazy. This is a very interesting battle that's taking place. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.